we will be grilling, and since we just found out we can have a fire, we are definitely going to get some wood. At Lake Pleasant Regional Park, more people are camping as the weather cools down. Cooler temps also means an end to the fire ban. Park Ranger Terry Gerber says even without the ban, campers need to be careful and remember that there may still be restrictions. So we're trying to allow the campers now, if they understand how to use their fires, that they can actually go ahead. We're going to go ahead and have that restriction off since we did get some rain. But if for some reason the wind picks up, we will have a temporary ban at that point. Some campers are firing up the barbecue and making plans for s'mores. Mm -hmm. Others are trading the wood for charcoal. Out here at Lake Pleasant Regional Park, they provide multiple cabanas throughout their park that are accompanied by charcoal grills. This will allow campers to safely enjoy a barbecue dinner now that the fire ban has been removed. If campers need fire supplies, volunteers like Beth Ann Schnell explains where to find them. Schnell lives in the park for most of the year and has tips on how campers can follow park rules. The winds are always unpredictable at the lake, so, you know, taking care of the fire and, and managing and making sure you put it out properly when you're finished is, is really important. You can't camp without a campfire. Making sure the fire is out helps prevent wildfires, allowing everyone a safe time in the outdoors. At Lake Pleasant, Erica Arrington, Cronkite News. To stay up to date on current fire ban restrictions, you can head to the Arizona Department of Forestry and Fire Management.